All right, here's how I wired in the uh, Ford Taurus E fan into the first gen. Um, comes with these weird Ford plugs that just kind of pull in and out. Um, it's just a three-pin plug with a ground, a uh, high voltage wire, and a low voltage wire for a high and low speed. The blue on mine for the incoming plug was high. The black with orange was low, and then the black was ground. So I ended up running mine on low puller speed just because I don't need to run it at high and there's no real reason to. I'm going to run it with a 30 amp uh, relay that I'll wire in back by the battery. I'll show that in just a minute. So all I did was I soldered in some wiring into here just a ground and a positive. I'm going to run it down here and follow with the wiring tuck and I'm tucking it down underneath the top radiator panel here. Runs down I've got it grounded into this top bolt here. I'm also running another chassis ground to that bolt just to make sure it's grounded well. Positive wire is coming out down here, runs up over here back behind the coils, and then I'll run the coils in it with it. Here's the new chassis ground and the positive wiring for that, just uh, just for the fan. And then this is the chassis ground, so it's actually on a grommet um, up in here just so that I can remove that if I need to and then the e-fan wiring also I can just take off if I need to. Um, so that's kind of the simplified version of how that went in here. Uh, I'll go do another section of the video and show you how I wire in the relay in the back with a switch that I'll turn it on because it's not going to be controlled by a thermostat or anything like that. I'll control it by hand just for safety measures. Hey guys, Austin back. I'm just going to show you how I wired in the coolant fan. Um, if you look over here, I've got the switch, just an interrupter switch, on and off to the relay. Um, if we listen really closely, you can actually hear the relay back here in the battery bin. All I did was run the speaker wire back here to the battery bin. I have a switch to ground on the coolant fan. I'm going to throw up the wiring diagram for you. Um, it's very simple, very similar, the same way I did the uh, the uh, fuel pump relay in this. Um, so I've just got the battery, or I've got the uh, power to the fan coming out of the relay here, and then I've got two of the pins in the relay going to just constant battery power, constant 12 volt positive battery power, and then the uh, ground I have switched in here. Actually, it's right here. You can see that I just got one wire going to this grounding block here and then I've got the other wire going into the relay so when the switch is on the ground is connected and then when it's off the ground is disconnected so the relay isn't on and then the fan will not be on um, it's a very simple way to wire it in uh, I thought it would be the easiest way to do it the only thing I would recommend when you're doing that is to be really careful because now I have it wired in to be 12 volt constant battery power instead of ignition so somebody could turn it on and leave it on on accident so you'd have to make sure to always turn it off when you leave the car but yeah that's kind of this really simple way that I did it I'll throw up some pictures and some uh, diagrams here if I can make them simple enough to read uh, thanks again for watching guys